after defining the network, the neural network that is going to be trained, we need to define the training process. To do so, we will start with the optimizer. And to define the optimizer, we will simply say optim my, I will make it a little bit bigger, optimizer equals torch dot optim and the optimizer or we are going to use is adam so adam a very um, well-known optimizer and pen dot what do we want to optimize the pen which is the neural network here and um, what exactly we need to optimize is the parameters of this neural network so pa parameters and we will set a learning rate of 1 e to the power minus 3 which is a quite common a number for learning rate higher or bigger number means the network will learn faster but we need to be careful uh, not to make it too high or too small that it will take long time so this is uh, one of the hyperparameters for the training process. So the optimizer is this guy. And now we need to set the boundary points. So what is the boundary point? Is boundary is going to be, in this case, it's only the uh, spring, or we can say like this, just a minute. And just make it bigger. So we have this system, the, well, make it a little bit bigger, just a minute. So we have this system and the, the boundary is basically the initial condition. And the initial condition is, is in here, we will have the X at the time which is the boundary point of zero is going to be one and the speed at time of zero is going to be zero so we will pull this spring and we'll leave it this is the initial condition now in this case we don't really have a boundary condition except just the time will be this much because after that uh, everything will be basically um, um, will be basically going to follow this uh, equation so however if you have let's say a 1d system or a 2d system for example calculating the heat equation you will have a boundary point and you have to set it but in this case we only have this initial condition so this boundary we need to define where is where this boundary point located of course, also the initial condition, this is as uh, pins, we will have boundary and we will have physics or boundary loss and physics loss. Uh, we will include the boundaries also included the initial condition that has to be uh, set. And in this case, we have to define these points. So torch dot um, tensor, tensor, and is going to be 0 0.0, 0, which is the time at point 0. Now, what we need to do, we need to formulate, formu uh, formulate it as this um, into uh, one column. So we will have one column, but we will need as much as required rows. And in this case, we only have one row because we only have one point, which is the initial condition, which is uh, time equals zero. And we will set it as requires grad means we will calculate also the gradient at these points for pytorch and we will set it as true we set it as true why we did this just quickly we why we didn't do this only because simply it's not the format we want we want kind of a one column and every column we will need a parentheses for every value so this is done by this to um we, in order to just see the difference 
we take this guy and we just print it out and you can see that now it is this uh, point and it is surrounded by this uh, column so every point has to be surrounded by parentheses this is in general this is how we we use um or, or, like as an input for Py pytorch this is why simply it requires us to do it um another way another thing we need to consider is the points the domain points and the points that has to follow like in the training process the physics laws and in order to do that we have to define these points and uh, these points going to be t physics 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 equals same thing or like torch of course line space and the points will be from 0 to 1 and divide by 30 points on the other hand we will do the same thing in this guy the same um, basically process and this is the t physics point and here you can see the difference or how these points are located every point is located separately in parentheses and one column so minus one is we'll say as much as possible or as as much as needed number of rows and here we have only one value so this is why we only have one row now one thing is um i need to um, talk about is why do we need t boundary and why do we need t physics in simply the reason is in uh, pins we have two kind of losses the boundary losses or the losses that come from initial condition and boundary condition and the other loss that comes from the domain so the boundary condition we need to train the network that at these boundary condition the values has to to be equal to the initial condition and the boundary condition this is why it exists it enforces the values of the neural networks in order for in, in in enforce these values to be correct which is the boundary condition or the initial and the initial condition the t physics has to follow different rule which is the points located at the domain or the points we want to calculate has to follow the physics equations in odes um which is what we are studying here it has to follow this equation so we have to enforce these two uh, to be in the loss um, when we define the loss so this is why we have two t things two things two domains that has to um, to be guaranteed or to be enforced on the neural network this one is a little bit long so i will just um, like you can of course print it but i will just uh, get it away because it's a little bit long okay now we have these the domain points and the or the the yes the domain which is the physics and the boundary points what do we need the training process so in order to do the training we need a loop for i in range of in this case i will put it 40000 and maybe one because maybe the last one will not uh, achieve so anyway like you can have it even like just to make it simple 40000 and what do we need to do first optimizer so this is the actual training process here is actually we will write the training uh, or train process or training process here and then what do we need to do first we need the optimizer optimizer to be no grad zero gradient underscore underscore gradient and then what do we need to do is here we have another thing which is the loss calculation we will calculate the loss of course in next lecture we will calculate the loss 
because it's a, a bit sensitive, a very important thing. So the first thing is we make the zero grant, calculate the loss, and then what do we do? We do a back propagation loss based on the loss value. We def we change our parameters or we do the back propagation and then we change our parameter or using this optimization step. So this is very typical any, um, I would say like um, training process. We always have a zero grant and then we calculate the loss. We do back propagation and we run the optimizer to actually define the to tell us or, or to change the values of the parameters to follow uh, basically the back propagation feedback in which will tell us if we change this parameter how much it will change the output value so a uh, back propagation I, I i explained it in in the paid courses but basically it's the same as any back propagation uh, these steps are the same as any uh, neural network training. So, so that's it. This is how we actually train this neural network. It will keep repeating until, well, basically the loss is as small as possible and the network is converged or the uh, network is uh, parameters not going to change. With that, we finished. And next time we will calculate the loss and let's see. Um, how the equation is connected with this uh, loss values. Thank you very much.